wants to be a Clay County School Board, but tonight she's the center of a legal battle. Action News was the first to tell you in August about Sandra Dunavant's claim that a local group altered a survey she filled out about her views. Now less than two weeks before the election, a local group is fighting back, saying she lied. Action News investigator Catherine Barnum is live in Clay County, and Catherine, Sandra Dunavant just called you and told you that she withdrew her lawsuit. John and Tanika, I did guess, just get off the phone with Sandra Donovan about 10 minutes ago. She did confirm she has withdrawn her lawsuit against the Clay Family Policy or Clay Family Policy Forum. Right now, their attorneys tells me they are still pursuing theirs. Today, I did learn though that there are three different copies of this survey. I looked at the survey and was shocked to see that my answers had been altered. That was school board candidate Sandra Dunavant back in August. She claimed then a group called the Clay Family Policy Forum altered her answers on a survey sent to local Clay County candidates. Dunavant told me then she had made copies of her original survey before sending it to the group, and she gave me a copy showing differences on page five and an answer about same-sex marriage. So what she did, we believe, she retyped the whole page. Horatio Mahed is the lawyer representing the Clay Family Policy Forum. Since my story aired, both sides have taken legal action against each other, including a motion filed this month by the Clay Family Policy Group saying Donovan has committed fraud. They contain misspellings and formatting errors that could not be explained. Ms. Donovan tried to blame the copy machine. Mahan showed me three different copies of the survey, including what is labeled as the original. I noticed several differences between each. On the original survey, page five, which Donovan raised concerns about in August, you'll see there are check marks and an answer to question four on same-sex marriage. On the copy Donovan gave me, there are X's and a slight mark on question four. On the copy Mahet says she gave to the court, there are X's, but no mark under question four. We also noticed differences on many other pages, including a misspelling between the original document and the one Donovan gave to me. I went to Donovan's home today to ask her about the different surveys. And obviously there's some differences between the copy you gave me, the original and court. Absolutely, and I can't, I can't, I can't comment on that. She told me to call her attorney, which I did. But so far, he has not returned my call. Mahet says he's confident Dunavit redid the surveys, but he doesn't know why. It is now clear that the so-called copies that she claims to have made are forged documents. And I asked Donovan about some of the misspellings on the various copies, how that could have happened. She blamed her scanner. Now, she did tell me that she seemed to be mixed up in some of the surveys, the ones that she actually submitted originally to the ones that she gave me. So there is still a lot to do on this case. I know the Clay Family Policy Forum's attorney tells me they are still pursuing their lawsuit against Sandra Donovan. We are live in Clay County tonight. I'm Catherine Barnum, CBS 47 Action News Jax. The Clay Family Policy Forum issued the survey to other candidates in the county. We checked their surveys and they matched up with what was labeled as the original survey the group's attorney showed us today.